everyone, welcome back and thank you for watching another video here on Humble Jungle. Today we're going to be talking about one of my favourite things, which is Christmas. I'm going to be taking you through 15 gifts for plant people that aren't plants. This is a problem I've had every year for the past couple of years now, probably three years, uh, where my family and friends know that I love plants so they think it's an awesome idea to just buy me more plants. Which, you know, I love. I, I, I love getting new plants. but. I have so many now that it is so difficult to keep track of and the last few years I've kind of said hey guys can we please just I, I appreciate it and I love it but please no more plants um, partially just because it can be easy to get overwhelmed when you've got as many as I do and secondly because a lot of the plants that these people are buying are really common ones that are easily accessible of course and that means that they're plants that I already have so for the last few years, I've been using Google Docs to basically create a sheet of a whole bunch of things that I like. I include how much they are, what the links are, and that way anyone can access them who, you know, maybe family, friends, my husband, usually they go to my husband to ask him first. Um, so he just sends it off to them and they pick something from the list. Now I found this really, really, really helpful. And when I was looking through it, I was like, really, really looking for things that aren't plants that are plant related, which is kind of what brought me to making this video. I found some really, really, really cool stuff that you can buy for basically anyone who enjoys plants or gardening. I think you're bound to find at least one thing on this list that your planty friend will love. I've tried to include a good mix of things for the home, things for plant care. So there's a few different kind of categories I guess these things could fall in. So they're not all plant care or all home decor. Uh, I wanted to mix it up a bit. So hopefully you like it. If you own any of these or bought any of these or you recommend any of these, please leave a comment down below. Or if there's anything that you can suggest that I've left off this list, I always love finding out about new things that I can spend some money on. So please do leave a comment below and let me know. Another thing I will mention is that I know a lot of my viewers aren't necessarily in Australia. So I've tried to include links of shops where you can purchase anywhere in the world. I've tried to make it as inaccessible as possible. And I've also tried to use different price points as well. So there will be some cheaper things and there will be some more expensive things if you're really wanting to splurge on that special person. So without further ado, I think I'm just going to jump into it. So the first item up on the list is the Copper Spade Decorative Aluminium Tool Set. One of the great things about these sets is they come in different colors. I personally really like the watercolor purple. They are quite reasonably priced. It's only $20. I believe that is American dollars, uh, but I will actually leave some links down below uh, that you'll be able to, to shop any of these items on as well. Um, so this one I believe is $19.99 uh, US dollars. It's from the brand Copper Spade. And like I said, I really, really love the watercolor purple. I just think it's so beautiful. In a way, owning these I think would make me want to kind of display my gardening tools a little bit more. Uh, I think they're really, really pretty and can almost become a design feature in themselves. Next up from Amazon is the Fiskars Hori Knife. These things I just find to be so functional, so helpful. I feel like whether you're indoor gardening, outdoor gardening, you're always going to find a use for these. They have a serrated edge so you can use them for cutting, you can use them for digging. They have a measure on them so if you're planting something and you want to know how deep to dig in the soil, you're able to do this with this one tool. So they are designed to weed, plant, split, transplant and do all kinds of handy things around the garden. Um, I feel like you could find so many different uses for these. They are versatile. And honestly, for $22.95, I feel like it's a really, really great price for something that can be so helpful and handy to have around. This one you'll actually find on my list. It is the Gardening Under Lights Complete Guide for Indoor Growers. It is only around $16 or $17. Um, it does have some really great information and some great reviews on things you can learn being an indoor gardener. I think it's got four out of four and a half out of five stars. I think I have 270 something ratings. So you can tell it's been rated quite well. Um, and I just love reading it. It's, it's one of those things where I think either you like it or you don't. But if you know that this person that you're thinking of buying a gift for loves indoor gardening, they do use grow lights, even if they don't and they're thinking about getting into it, this would be a really, really great resource to help support them in that transition because it can be really intimidating when you're first looking at grow lights for the first time. The book is highly detailed. It talks about things from seed starting to even just managing an indoor garden with established ornamental plants like I have here. Um, I think it's a really, really inexpensive gift, but something that someone will really enjoy and learn a lot from. 
Next up, we've got the Kikoland Cactus Travel Pillow. The second I saw this, I just thought it was the coolest thing. I know that, you know, obviously, COVID's kind of lifting. I know for, for me, myself here in Melbourne, Victoria, restrictions are finally starting to lift. So travel is becoming one of those things that we can start planning again, which is so exciting. So I really want to pick up one of these. I feel like it looks so comfortable. It reflects my love of plants. I think it just looks cool. Even if I'm not using it, I feel like this is something that I'd want to display and, and really show off. It's something that could sit at the end of my bed and, and still look beautiful and then is also functional when I need to travel as well. It's spandex filled with contouring micro beads. It's great for head, neck and lower back support. And you can also use it as a footrest. This one is available for $33 on Amazon. The next product is something that I have tried, I have tested, and I have recommended to lots of my family and friends. It is the Kiehl's Ultimate Strength Hand Solve. Now, for a hand cream, I guess if you're looking comparatively to your supermarket brands, it is on the pricier side, but if you want my opinion, it is so worth it. If you're someone who spends a lot of time with your fingers in soil, your hands in soil, outside gardening, it can be quite rough to the skin on your hands. And your hands are one of those places where you do show aging first, so it's important to look after them. This is a cream that even though it is on the pricier side, the formula is so rich and nourishing and it feels so nice on your skin. Um, I have found it to be just an absolute beautiful product. I love I just love Kills, to be quite honest with you. I have a lot, a lot of Kills products. I find them to be a really, really great skincare company. And uh, this particular product, I like I said, I've recommended it to so many people. Um, an example I could use is my mother-in-law when she was going through chemo. Um, it was quite drying on her skin. Uh, on top of that, she loved to get into the garden and um, just found that it really took a big toll on her hands. And there were quite a few years where I'd buy it for her on the reg, um, making sure that she had a steady stay there and she raved about how great it was so honestly a really really great product even if it's for you know an older member of your family that may not like any of the kind of younger products that I've got on the list this is something that I think anyone could use next up is probably the most expensive item on my list uh, it is the Garantia terracotta antique rainwater tank now if you've been watching this channel like I feel like I say this in every video, but my Calatheas, it is a struggle. It's a struggle, guys. And this is actually something that I want to invest in. It will allow me to collect rainwater, which is free of all those minerals and things in the water that the Calatheas don't like. But it's also a really, really great water saving tip. I don't have to use tap water. I can use rainwater that I've collected, which I know is pure and my plants will love. I love, I love how this looks. I love how big it is. I like how much it holds. It's 250 liters. So you know you're gonna get a lot of water in there. But my favorite part is that little tap nozzle at the front. It makes it so easy to get access to this water rather than having to lean over and kind of like old school fashion, kind of bucket it out. You can just turn on that tap and it goes straight into your watering can or whatever you're using. I think it is such, such an awesome investment. Next up is a gift that I've actually bought for myself and I'm waiting to arrive. It is the Plant Lady Terracotta Pot Mug. The second I saw this, I knew I had to have it. I absolutely love this mug. I love that it looks like a terracotta pot. I just cannot wait to see it sitting on my desk. I feel like it just encompasses everything that I am and I need it in my life. It is so competitively priced at, I believe this is in, for some reason it was giving me pounds. Let me see if I can change that to something that's not pounds because we don't deal in pounds, y'all. So, for only 28 Australian dollars, I find that to be such a good price and I know that I'm just going to love it. And I think whoever you get it for will love it too. Next up, I found this Monstera neon sign on Amazon and I think it is super cool. This seller actually has a whole bunch of different neon signs, but the Monstera really, really spoke to me. I'm one of those people that really, really like lights. Uh, I'm sure if you're on TikTok, you'll see a lot of the DIY decor hacks that they've been calling them have, a lot of them have involved light strips. 
Lights can add such a beauty and ambiance to a space and I just think this green neon sign would look so good in any plant room, in any study. It is basically a celebration of how much you like plants, specifically Monstera. I know you're out there guys. Uh, and for, for $35, I think it is something really, really cool, but also something that people wouldn't necessarily think of. Um, if you're one of those people that gets lots of socks for Christmas, how nice is it when you don't get socks, you get something different. I, I think if you buy this for someone, I don't think you're going to run the risk of someone else buying it for them as well, unless you both watch my videos, in which case, thank you. But it is easily available on Amazon and I think it is just a really, really, really cool quirky gift. Now there are a lot of cushions you can get on Amazon or basically anywhere that sells any kind of homewares or things like that. And I've looked at quite a few, but the one that I really, really liked was the Hudeco Embroidery Throw Pillow Cover. It's an 18 by 18 square pillow cover, which I believe is the, pretty much the standard size. Um, it's 100% cotton and not only does it have those really cool Monstera leaves, I love the texture. I have someone who really likes to introduce different textures into my home and that was really the selling point for me. I think anytime you introduce different textures, you can give your home a little bit more of a, a designed vibe. Um, and this is something that I know would fit into almost any space in my home, look really great. And one thing about having throw pillows is they're a really, really easy way to kind of mix up the decor in your house. Um, just changing a few little things like throw pillows every couple of months, maybe even every season, um, can definitely bring a different vibe, a different change and a fresh feeling to your spaces. So for me, you can never really have too many throw pillows and chop and change them out between rooms and, and all kinds of things. And this one for $20, I think you just really can't go past. The next item on the list is again, something that is on my list. It is the Lego Botanical Collection Bird of Paradise. Anytime I think about Lego, it just takes me back to my childhood. I absolutely love puzzles and I think this is such a cool thing. You can have fun making it, but you can also display it afterwards. I didn't actually know these were a thing until I saw, I think it was Kaylee Allen. Kaylee was getting drunk. There was some steaming drinks. There was like a whole situation going on without trying to put together this thing. And honestly, don't let them put you off. I feel like they made it a lot more complex than it was. I'm sorry, Kaylee. It's not like you're watching this because you don't know who I am. If you are, I love you and I'm sorry. But I feel like you made it a little bit more complicated than it was gonna be. Actually, maybe if you didn't, maybe it was the steaming drinks that Ben was making. I don't know. Either way, I'm not put off. I want to own this. I want to do it. I am ready for the challenge. And again, a quirky gift for a plant lover that kind of resembles a plant, takes no care, and will be super, super fun to put together. Another thing I came across in my travels were these plant coasters on Etsy. And I was like, why have I not seen these before? They are super cute. They're only $35 and you can get ones of all different plants. Not only do they look really good, they also serve the functional purpose of protecting the surface that you're sitting the plant on. And when you take those plants away to wash them, it's like, you know where to put them back because the coast is gonna tell you. Firstly, amazing, I absolutely love it. Roots and Wings Vinyl, just amazing. I also think they just look so cool. The artwork on them is super fun. I love the font on the, the text that they've chosen to use. It is just definitely gonna be getting these for myself. Next up is one that your plant lover may have, they may not have. You don't even have to buy it from where I'm suggesting because I've seen these everywhere. They are really easily accessible from most kind of garden shops or hardware stores. It is the Offadix Transparent Glass Watering Spray Bottle. So it's basically a fun, quirky, and tiki looking little plant mister. Uh, with these, they serve the functional purpose of misting your plants, but in addition, just having it sitting on a plant shelf, I think looks really, really nice. My battery is about to die, guys, so I am going to quickly change it over and I will be back in a sec. So sorry about that, guys. I'm back now. They have this really antique vibe, and to me, it's like if I'm walking through like this ethereal conservatory in like an old rich lady's house and she's got like expensive orchids, this is what I expect to see there. That's the kind of vibe I get from this thing. I think they are super cool. They're really, again, easily accessible. This one's only $25, so it's really, really cost effective. I could honestly have one of these in every room of the house. I don't feel like I could have too many of these. And even then, when I fill up the rooms inside, I'm probably gonna start working on the outside as well and having them in strategic little places. This one comes in clear, but the green is it for me. I think it is just 
absolutely beautiful. Another cool find that I came across while trolling through Etsy is the Bernie Sanders plant marker. I lost it. I don't know whether you guys saw this meme. I feel like you'd almost have to be living under a rock not to have seen this meme. But the fact that I can now stick it in any of my pots, these are only $17.26, so they are quite cost effective and I think they are so cool. I would love to stick a few of these in a few of my plants or even a plant that I'm giving to a friend. It's kind of like if you are planning on giving a plant to a friend, why not get one of these and stick it in the top just to make it that extra bit, little bit cooler? I don't know, I definitely would. These guys are about five by three inches, so they aren't tiny and they are also sealed to help resist wear and tear. So you know that like with anything that goes into a pot, it's not just going to completely crap itself. I've seen so many positive reviews on this item on Etsy as well, so you know it's a decent buy. All right, getting close to the end now, guys, two left. Next up, we have the I Love Plants Udi. Now, I feel like you're either an Udi person or you're not an Udi person. I'm personally not, but I have so many friends and family members who are and who rave about them. This I Love Plants one, I hope it is available to everyone out there overseas. Um, I think it's not only does it look really cool, uh, it is 100% cruelty free, it is machine washable, and for me, the coolest thing about this is for every I Love Plants Udi sold, one tree is planted in Australia. I do hope they have similar programs with that if they are available overseas. I'm not sure, are these even available overseas? Is this just like an Australian thing? Am I in my own bubble? My mind is about to be blown, guys. I'm gonna research that after this video. But I believe they do ship overseas, so if you don't live in Australia, I'm sure you've seen these kind of things before. They're like a massive thing here. Um, they're really, really comfy, and there's currently a Black Friday sale, so get your hands on one for cheap. All right, last on the list, guys, and this is something that is 100% on my Christmas list. If my husband doesn't buy it for me for Christmas or no one else does, I'm buying it for myself. What I'm talking about is one of the beautiful botanical watercolors from Aaron Apsley. There are so many different prints that he has. My personal favorites are the Monstera, the Anthurium, and the Philodendron. Um, there is also one for just for dark leaves, which I think is beautiful. You will see a lot of plant people on YouTube have these in the background. I do see them quite a lot, and I think that they are so so cool. You have these beautiful watercolor illustrations. Um, I, I love pointing out kind of which ones I have. It's almost like something you can even put up and like tick them off your list. They're only 45 American dollars for a 12 by 16 inch print. And they're, they're just so pretty. I feel like they look beautiful in any room. If you're a plant lover, you're probably gonna want one of these. You can get these via his website, but you can also get them through his Etsy page as well. So do keep an eye out there, especially if you are buying some of the other items in this list from Etsy, definitely purchase from Etsy and put it all in the same bag. Well, that's it from me, guys. I feel like I've done a lot of talking today. Um, I hope you really enjoyed this video and I hope that you found some inspiration of things you might want to purchase for yourself or purchase for a friend or family member that you know doesn't want any more plants but still loves plants. Another one that I will suggest that wasn't on this list and it's actually right behind me, it is this, I'm kind of like doing ninja moves here. It's this chair cover that I bought from Amazon. I will also include that in my equipment links below so you can purchase that if you like. If you do want to purchase one, please consider using one of the Amazon affiliate links that I have linked down below. It really, really helps out this channel and enables me to keep bringing you the content that I love to bring you. I hope you all have an absolutely wonderful day. I hope you're getting as excited about Christmas as I am. Um, if you watched the last video, the move is still in progress. So excited. I feel like the day is just not coming soon enough. It's about two and a half weeks now and I am ready, so ready for this. So I'm really, really looking forward to getting that all done and showing you this new place and my plants. And I just have so much upcoming that I wanna show you guys. So hit subscribe if you wanna keep up to date with all of my upcoming videos and have, yeah, an awesome day, a great weekend and take care of yourselves.